Today, the Florida Supreme Court issued its decision in Bartram. This is a long-awaited decision that could have substantial impact on a number of different homeowners. Basically, the court has said that a lender is not precluded from filing a subsequent foreclosure action when the first foreclosure action was dismissed, that the statute of limitations does not bar the lender from doing that. Many people have argued that because the loan was accelerated during a prior foreclosure action, that that triggers the statute of limitations. The Bartram decision has rejected that argument. It does not trigger the statute of limitations, so that now each new default constitutes a new cause of action that a lender can foreclose upon. While this decision addresses a major issue that has been pending before the courts, it still leaves open some other issues that the courts will subsequently have to decide. For example, if the, the bank loses on an initial foreclosure action, then the borrower has to go back and begin to make its payments. Well, how far back do you go? When does the statute of limitations become, become effective? For what period of time is the bank going to be allowed to recover attorney's fees? These are open-ended issues that I think we'll be covering in the near future as the courts address them.